Hey, what's up, people? Um, uh, first and foremost, got to give a shout out to Nikki. Uh, just want you to know that I'm thinking about you. Uh, now on to the topic. Uh, yeah, a lot of people might not realize it right now, but what's going on right now with um with um Congress and the Democratic Party and Obama? You know, really, this this is really kind of like w- would say a defining moment for Obama because. You know he's lost his party. He's he's just he's just you know he's he's almost being extorted by the Republicans right now, and he's allowing it to happen. Uh, he's saying that he's compromising, but he's not really compromising. He's basically just bending over and letting them do what they want. He's trying to make it appear like there's a compromise, but basically he's giving them exactly what they want and exactly what he said he wouldn't give them. Um, and the Democratic um, his own party has kind of deserted him, and then see. Being that the Senate's, the Senate ha- they have like controlling votes, so what what he should do is even if he he might have to compromise, he shouldn't compromise so quickly. I mean, you know, they're saying they're not going to let anything pass. You know, wh- why not call their bluff? Why not let a month or two go past and see if they if they if, they, if America grinds to a halt because of the, the Republican nonsense? Let him well, let him stop and see what happens. You know, see how you know Amer- what's going to happen in a month or two from now if he says like you know what forget it then. You know, if nothing's going to get done because you don't want your rich friends to um, get a tax cut, then nothing's going to get done. But Obama's just too much of a, you know, I hate to hate, you know, I have respect for the man and all of that. I mean, he was brave to to try to be the first, you know, black president in the U.S. history. I mean, that was a brave thing. But, you know, he's just, he doesn't have the fight in him. He doesn't have the backbone or the resilience that you would expect from a leader. I mean, running a great campaign was great, but it's, it's starting to look like that's the best thing he can do. Um, he got health care reform passed, but there are people who are saying that uh, that really wasn't even him anyway. That was really Nancy Pelosi really p- pushed all of that through. Um, so, you know, and I've, I've kind of noticed too that but Nancy Pelosi does seem to have, uh, you know, I mean, she's a white woman, you know, I guess she has white woman privilege, but she still seems like she has more more of a... A fight in her than uh she has more of a tiger in her than than he does, um. But like I said, I guess you know I mean. You know it seems like he's losing the party. You know he's losing support of his very own party. So when c- come next election, you know I don't think people are gonna be ready to like throw their money behind him. Like look, we you know we still got your back. You know they might be looking for a new candidate. Um. But he doesn't realize how incredibly weak he's making himself look. Um, I mean, the fact is, most of them know they might have to compromise with the Republicans, but they don't have to compromise this fast. They can get more of what they want if they wait out longer, longer, longer. I mean, you know, Barack Obama studied law. He should know contract law. He should know how this stuff type goes. His, his wife worked as a lawyer. You know, she knows how it goes, too. So, I don't know. It's just really sad um, what's going on right now, but, you know, we'll see. You know, Obama wants wants to bend over, and, you know, the rest of the Democrats are like, no, you, you can bend over if you want, but we're not doing it with you. So, I don't know, I just see it's a sad thing because, um, you know, what's happening right now might not seem like much to most people, but this really could spell, you know, you know, it could spell, could, could really determine his entire, you know, his entire political future, at least as president. Um, and after me, quite honestly, I'm kind of disappointed in him. I mean, you know, if, if it's true that Nancy Pelosi was the one who really pushed through through the health care reform, and he was ready to just, like, let it go, then, you know, I'm really ashamed of him, uh, about that, too. Um, but hey, I guess, you know, leave your comments and, uh, let me know what you think about it. Peace.